first, let's bring you up to speed on the future of Chelsea. Sir Martin Broughton and Todd Bowley have had their bids shortlisted in the auction to buy the club. Bowley, who part owns the Major League Baseball franchise, the LA Dodgers, and former <laughs> Liverpool chairman Broughton, were informed by New York Bank Rain of their successful bids. Let's talk to our chief reporter, Carve Solikol. What else do we know? So, t two, two t teams we know are on the shortlist. What else do we know? Anything else? Yeah, this process uh, is dragging on. I don't think it was supposed to take this long. Uh, bear in mind, the bids for Chelsea were supposed to be submitted last Friday. So it's taken the Rain Group uh, a week to whittle down the initial bids, which I don't think the serious bids were uh, more than about 10 of them. Uh, and since last Friday, they've been trying to come up with a shortlist. Now, I think yesterday... Uh, they thought they were pretty close to having a definitive shortlist. But I think the problem was that when they contacted uh, some of the bidders who hadn't made the shortlist, uh, those bidders, not only were they disappointed, but they also objected very, very strongly and wanted to know why they weren't on the shortlist and wanted to be put on the shortlist. So it is a complicated picture. What we know at the moment, though, is that two bids have definitely made the short bid. Uh, shortlist and they're the front runners uh, the first one is uh, led by Todd Burley the part owner of the LA Dodgers uh, he's backed by Swiss billionaire Hans Jörg Wiss also a London based uh, property tycoon uh, Jonathan Goldstein and they also have on board Daniel Finkelstein Lord Finkelstein Chelsea uh, supporter Times columnist former government advisor uh, they also have Barbara Sharoni uh, music PR executive, uh, season ticket holder at Stamford Bridge, and they're being advised by Goldman Sachs. So that is the leading US bid that has made the shortlist. The other bid that's made the shortlist is a UK one, led by Sir Martin Broughton, former chairman of British Airways, former chairman of Liverpool. He's teamed up with Lord Coe. Everyone knows who he is, president of World Athletics, uh, former Conservative MP, long-term Chelsea supporter. And they have not come out in public and said who is backing their bid. They haven't been totally transparent. Uh, but we've reported in the past week, for instance, that the co-owners of the Philadelphia 76ers, Josh Harris and David Blitzer, who also have minority stakes in Crystal Palace, a part of their consortium, and also Vivek Ranadive, who's the owner of the Sacramento Kings uh, basketball team in the States. He's a tech billionaire. He's also said uh, to be backing them, and they have financial backing from Clear Lake Capital, a massive uh, investment uh, firm based in California. So those are the two leading contenders. We know they're on the shortlist. Now, question marks about the Ricketts family group. Uh, own the Chicago Cubs. They are very, very serious about trying to buy Chelsea. Uh, question marks over whether they've made the short list. Every time I speak to their representatives, they say that we haven't been told that we're not on the short list. We're confident. We've always been confident. And then there's, of course, Nick Candy's consortium. Again, uh, his representatives are not saying very much at the moment. Uh, but I think behind the scenes, people are still trying to get on the shortlist. And there's even been talk of some of the bidders trying to uh, merge to form a kind of super consortium to try and get on the shortlist. So it is a confusing uh, picture, but we do know that two bidders definitely are on, the Todd Burley Consortium and the Sir Martin Broughton Consortium. So it is getting quite messy. Just before we move on, just to, to clear it up, the Crystal Palace part ownership is potentially a little bit of a problem. Yes, I think Josh Harris and David Blitzer each own 18% of Crystal Palace. Under Premier League rules, if they were to uh, be part of a consortium that buys Chelsea, uh, they would have to dispose uh, of that holding in Crystal Palace. So that is something else that would be uh, quite complicated going forward. Uh, how complicated is life for Chelsea behind the scenes at the moment just to keep things ticking over as, as normally as they can in very abnormal times? I think we have to keep things in perspective. On the one hand, there seems to be this exciting race to buy Chelsea, a trophy asset, everyone's uh, queuing up to try and buy Chelsea. But on the other hand, you've got a club who are in big, big trouble. 
uh, about 800 people work at Chelsea. It's not just millionaire footballers uh, who are employed by Chelsea. Uh, Chelsea, their owner, is sanctioned. Uh, they are operating with their one hand tied behind their back. Their credit cards have been uh, frozen. People are worried about their future. And one thing that would concern me going forward is how much the owner of Chelsea, the next owner of Chelsea, is going to pay for the club. Because if they're going to pay £3 billion, where is this money coming from? This money is going to be coming from banks. So the owners are going to be borrowing this money. They're going to be paying the interest on that money. Who is going to be repaying that debt? Is, is, that, is Chelsea going to have to pay for that? Similar situation that we've seen with the Glazers at Manchester United. And £3 billion is an incredible amount of money to pay uh, for anything, let alone a football club. If it actually does go for £3 billion, it would be a world record uh, for a sports team, club, franchise. I think the record at the moment is uh, £2.5 billion that was paid for the Brooklyn Nets uh, a, a few years ago. So I just don't know how the sums are going to add up going forward because whoever's buying it uh, is taking a big, big risk. Obviously, they think they're going to make money out of it, but I can understand why Chelsea supporters are very worried, very concerned and being very cautious about the future.